Brian Dean Wright is a Democrat and a former CIA officer. We're happy to have him tonight. Brian, thanks a lot for coming on. It's striking to me, and it's a matter of public record, that the Chinese government is attempting to leverage its relations with our elected officials to control how we talk about a virus they unleashed on the world. How do you feel when you hear that? How can anybody uh, not feel outraged? You know, we, we all know, we've all lived in a country for the past 30 years that has been sold out to the Chinese government. We were promised in the late 1990s that, hey, China goes in the WTO and we'll all benefit. That didn't take place. We've watched our intellectual property be stolen for 30 years. And now we watch some of our elected leaders, and I'm sorry to say, many of them on my side of the aisle, capitulate to the Chinese government once again. I mean, here we are, 30 years, and we've learned nothing. So I'm outraged. It makes me incredibly angry. It seems like a pretty straightforward question. So we reached out to Senator Feinstein and a number of other elected officials today and asked, have you had contact recently since the outbreak with Chinese officials? And not a single one responded. What do you think we should infer from that? I think that they're nervous. I think there are a bunch of people who, because of their either useful idiots or they have some degree of uh, knowledge and, and relationships uh, behind the scenes with the Chinese government, some of them, in fact, could be Chinese agents of the actual MSS, their intelligence service, God forbid. They're nervous, and they know that, that uh, if nothing else, the party has, certainly for the past three months, doubled down on their pro-China rhetoric. And if the U.S. intelligence community, in collecting this information, not only the information that we know through our CIA and the NSA and others, but also reaching out to our allies, places like the Australians and the, the South uh, Koreans and the Japanese, if we know with a high degree of confidence the Chinese, in fact, l released this virus accidentally or otherwise and caused this pandemic, and yet the Democratic Party and its leaders have been supportive of the regime, parroting their talking points, what is the, not only just the geopolitical fallout around the country, but what's the political fallout, especially in 2020, as the November election happens? So that's why I suspect you're not hearing much. We've got a lot of very nervous folks in the Democratic Party. I suspect that's right. You always forget there's, a, there's an election going on as well. Brian D. Wright, great to see you tonight. Thank you for that.